Hi bros, in today's episode I will show you what working range you can expect on Obarter X5, I can say only expect unexpected, also this could go to one of the best controllers which you can find in all cheap Chinese scoots, literally the best ones, but let's start from the beginning. At that day I called to Pablo if he would like to do some long range, he says yes, so let's go. And at the middle of this trip, Pablo says to me like, bro, you will not back to home, like, no way. I was like, no woman, no cry, I will back to home or I will call taxi. And at that day, I did 53 kilometers and believe me or not, I got still 58 volts, which is pretty insane. Because this could got this big 13 inch tires, which are super wide, built in batteries 30 amps and still 58 volts battery left, Pablo at that day did around 42 kilometers and he had like 53 volts, so battery was almost done. So looks like Obarter has almost the same working range like Lauti Ti30 which got 40 amps battery pack, so 25% bigger. So I have no idea how it's possible to be honest, but in next episode we'll open Obarter and we'll see what is built in battery if this is true 30 amps because here we got two choices like first one battery pack is bigger than 30 amps which is highly possible or the second one controllers are super efficient like they are using foc system or something like this and here is the thing built in controllers are one of the most let's say advanced which I have seen in all Chinese schools because they got true motor regenerative braking system. So every single time when you squeeze brake lever, the power from rotating motor is going through controllers to battery packs. So, uh, so you are charging back battery pack. This is something new in this Chinese schools because usually you don't have this feature. Only some expensive VCs or more advanced controllers got this feature. And here in Obarter we've got something like this. So maybe that's why I've got that kind of working range on this code because every single time when I squeeze a little bit brake lever, so the parts on hydraulic brakes are not touching disc yet, I can see that the voltage is rising on LCD voltage meter, which means that the battery is charged. And if you would like to know if you've got this motor receptive braking system in your scoot, you have to check one thing. When you start to brake, so you're squeezing a little bit the brake lever, if on this small screen voltage is constant, so it's not changing when you are hitting brake lever, especially if it's not rising, then you've got simple motor braking system. You don't have regenerative braking system. But if, you, if you've got regenerative braking system, when you are squeezing brake lever, you can see that the voltage is rising because motors are charging back battery. And in Obarter X5, I noticed that when you are going fast, like 40, the voltage is getting higher up to even 1.5 volts extra. So let's say that battery pack is 60 and when you are start to break, the voltage is rising to even 61.5 volts. So yeah, this is the best feature in all those Chinese scoots. If Boyeda, Laoti or other scoots, which you well know from my channel, will have that kind of controllers, you can expect better working range. So maybe that's why Obarter got this insane working range with this small battery pack. So, so far I can really recommend this code because it has true working motor, regenerative braking system, best feature ever. Working range, as you saw, I did 53 kilometers and 58 volts battery left. I was like, this is impossible because I am quite heavy, 90 kilograms. I used this scoot on the on-road, off-road, I smashed it a couple of times full throttle and this scoot needs plenty of power. Also, I tried to go over some super sloppy hill and still 30% battery left, so it looks like regenerative braking system in this scoot is doing some magic. But in next episode, I will open the deck, we'll see what is built in battery, if this is really 30 amps and what are controllers. Now let's speak about, I think, three cons. First one is the price. This scoot is not very cheap, but no surprise. It's not very stable if you would like to do some fast corners, but no surprise over here. Tires are just fat and big, so the deck is higher from the ground. And that's why I don't recommend to do some fast corners. Actually, if you are going forward, as you saw in my last episode, this scoot is rock solid. I went like 70, 
so I push it full throttle, I release it rapidly and this could be really rock solid. But third cone is like super, this is actually a joke, because built-in battery in X5 is like 30 amps, but include charger is 2 amps, so if you will fully deplete battery and if you would like to fully charge it, it will take like 15 hours but you can just buy one charger extra and it will be fixed let's say but yeah this could cost like two thousand dollars so it should we should expect at least two chargers in the box I am pretty impressed about Obarter. I did long range tests, so I drove around 53 kilometers and still 58 volts left. My weight is around 90 kilograms and this could got this big fat tires 13 inch. Nice. 